What's up, YouTube? Yo Napper here, and I'm doing a video about my new and improved Spider Man costume, which I don't have the facial and lenses in yet, but I will have them in a second, and I'm gonna throw this bad boy on, so I'll see you in a second. All right, so um, this is just like a little, uh, you know, showing uh, my face shell and lenses out. All right, so there's just the, uh, there's like the layer of, the first layer of plastic there, then the lens uh, is on top, or, you know, there. And then you have a layer of uh, aluminum mesh, or sorry, white mesh, aluminum mesh, and then the plastic behind that. And I've got these magnets also seated in there. And these magnets are strong. I had to use um, a, a, a contact glue because uh, it wasn't holding. And then on the mask um, itself, I had to do big globs because it kept ripping off the magnets there. And yeah, drill some holes. I gotta drill more holes and put some padding on the inside, but my costume isn't ready yet because it's drying with puff paint so um yeah it's just uh i'd like to thank t jack as well for the face shell and lenses uh on the rpf he was great and was really helpful and um yeah it's, uh, all right so oh, i guess i'll get back to you guys once i put together uh, just to kind of get a bit of a test rundown but i'm going to show you guys best way to sort of going about painting the legs at least um, or really a te technique that I picked up so uh, you don't want to bubble in your thing so sort of shake it down give it a couple of shakes not too hard though and then you want to squeeze out onto just like you know a relatively big area and then uh, when, when you do this you sort of want to you, you want to do it on a, on a bit of an angle um, I'm going to turn this upside down so it's going to be a little bit easier also I think it'll Help a bit with the camera. Oh, make, so make sure to also clip your, um, <laughs> clip your suit down and stretch it a bit because if you don't, then it will be a little bit harder to paint, but not too much that you're like, you know, stretching it. You know, it's, it's only got so much elasticity and this is an old suit for me. So I find the best way is to just, uh, put like a relatively big size thing of paint. Like you're still feathering the, the paint out of the bottle and then you want to like drag it up towards the leg and I've cut the bottle a certain way I'll put a I'll put the video up during this part because this part's kind of boring you know, like you know what it looks like but uh, essentially what you want to do is with your cut tip you want to oh well see if you pull a napper and like get it on the suit make sure to have a handy paper towel with water, or just even toilet paper, which is even cheaper. It won't be cheap like napper. And uh, I'm actually doing, I'm putting the curve side down and sort of feathering it out, which is kind of stupid. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Don't be a napper. All right. Screwing it up already, napper. You're screwing it up. Black Hawk down. Paint didn't want to come off the bottle. Scared. Okay, I'm just fucking this up. Hang on. These tip parts are the hardest, and I guess my guide isn't good if I'm screwing it up. But, uh, here. Let me try this. There we go. If you get some paint on the end of the straight edge, sort of cut part, you can you can uh, do it a little bit easier. It's it's still pretty hard, but it'll help with those edges back there. So or even just uh, putting a bit out and dragging down. And then coming back up quickly. That probably works the best, actually. That's, yeah, wow, why didn't I show that? Ah, I just totally touched some painted part. 
<sighs> also, make sure to wear some gloves when you do this. I'm getting paint all over my hands, and it is not fun. Paint all over my suit. Running out of clean water. Oh no. Well, thankfully I have some black puffy paint I can paint over this messed up part that I just messed up. I did not realize how hard it was to talk and paint at the same time. I am not a Bob Ross. I would also suggest working from top to bottom um, because you will get paint on yourself. And yeah, so now I guess now on to the legs. Best way is to just sort of, like I did the feather downwards, you just sort of want an initial uh, line. It doesn't have to be thick or anything, like, you know. You're just trying to get like a definitive edge on the on the outside. You know, just uh For this part here I find it's easier to just sort of like glob it in and then just, you know, glob it back really give some definition to those back legs because they're they look a little bit more powerful you know and um, doing like that will give it a little bit more definition obviously because um, it'll look a bit embossed and for those who don't know what embossed means it just means it's like sticking out a bit gives it some dimension and I'm gonna fix this You really gotta watch those, uh, the globs. And, uh, the one side of this isn't even, which I'm probably gonna fix as well with the puff paint. And I don't have my, uh, clips on tight enough, which kinda sucks, so... I have to rough through this a bit as well. Um, but yeah, just uh, coming, make sure that you don't have any air in your thing, you know? Go up first. Oh. And then come back down. You really want to put it on thick where uh, you're pretty much not going to have, you know, um, the line. Uh, I still also have this little, I'm a freaking stickler, I have this little tiny gap here. Oh, shit. Well, you know, live and learn. Just got to deal with it. And now we bring in safety towel. Go safety towel. Make sure to get it right when it happens. If you can't actually use the towel to uh, sort of merge it into the shape you want, because it'll probably dry that way, and then you'll have a, like an outline for the second time you go over it, because you will have to paint this twice. But um, I'm probably gonna show you guys what it looks like when I'm all done wearing it, when it's all put together. All right guys, so here it is, all uh, fully painted. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, maybe you can't see, but it's it's pretty embossed on the, um, on the actual costume. Um, you know, I put a lot of work into it. I still gotta fix some of the details, you know, just some of the minor, minor, Things I'm not sure if I want to paint that zipper or not, or just even put like a thing across, like just for the spider. But um, yeah, I'm still thinking about it. But I'm gonna show you guys what this bad boy looks like with everything on, and let's go check that out. All right. All right. So as you can see, I have the uh, front and back puff painted. I have uh, oh. Maybe I'll take the camera off, but I have a uh, 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 bottom for my 
feet soles and then the eyes are magnetic they just snap right on right there and uh it's pretty much it i can do pretty much anything in this you know so, uh spin a web any size catch these just like flies you know spider-man so yo napper i hope you uh really enjoyed this video that's me and uh i hope you guys have a good halloween peace out